Put your head on my shoulder I came in really late to the course in itself and had to pick up a completely different instrument to my usual. But I think past that, my other issues were getting used to the band and getting in time. That challenge by simply playing at a more swinged tempo and rhythm with my yeah. right hand and just playing it and staying calm. Doing this I think the main thing was this sort of adaptation because yeah. my usual style of drumming but hard, hard punk, grunge, fast rhythms, like fast doodle fill in stuff like that. And with jazz it's mostly slow, swung, like yeah. I can't really let loose of the drum kit. I've got to be completely controlled in, in the pocket. <laughs> A bit more to be honest, like just practice with the band as well as a whole a bit more. Yes, <laughs> Well, um, as we were missing two members of the band, uh, it was a struggle and we only had to deal with that in a very short time period. Um, but I thought me and Sam did very well. The Chain, our first song, me personally, struggled very much because I didn't have the other vocalist who could sing the higher parts and I was not even singing a lot of that song. And we struggled without a bass player as well because yeah. that song very bass heavy, mm -hmm. so that was a big struggle. Yeah, but then okay. I really think we were able to excite the crowd and really bring a full performance to the listeners. It's been giving a performance and giving an experience. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Sound was really, really good, and it's quite nice having the male singer to sing with. And Daniel's bass was actually very good, <laughs> and the whole thing sort of worked together very well. Uh, I remember playing the solo, looking at everyone's faces, and uh, it's amazing. Well, I know for me and for the rest of the band, having another vocalist is uh, very helpful, especially as she came in when we were doing 60s, doing the Beatles, and they have a lot of harmonies. And also, she is uh, very talented, so it has helped us a lot, I think. I definitely believe that call and response thing really adds a nice kick to the songs that we do. Mm. And I feel like she's a really good front person and it can really bring some energy to the band. Yeah, I think you can't go wrong having more singers kind of voice, mm -hmm. so it's just a good thing for the band. She's a brilliant person, and uh, she's amazing. How has having a new band member helped us? It's definitely given us a bigger repertoire in our songs, as we were missing that part in our songs, I believe. I think all of us can agree. Yeah. That rhythm guitar can be a massive part, and considering she picked it up so quickly, 
with such innovation, it's amazing. I couldn't be any more grateful. Yeah, definitely. I think the uh, fact that she was able to learn the song so quickly and like listen to the band members and work really well like that, I think it was amazing and it's going to help us in the future when we're doing different songs. As a lead guitarist, I think having rhythm guitars is going to push the whole band forward and it's just brilliant because it makes them sound bigger and I love it. How has having a new band member helped you guys? Well, as she is a singer or vocalist as you might say, um, how has having, how having a new band member helped us? I definitely say it's given us a more variety to our songs in general and considering they're able to pick up songs so quickly and with such innovation, it's amazing and it's going to be a massive quality to our team. Yeah, 100%. I mean, she learned two songs in the space of like an hour. And that is very talented. We need Big that. As the band communicated really well and we were able to get our points across, we were able to get our, par our parts down individually, but then still bring it all together for a big performance. Almost good. Uh, it went very well, but we struggled without Evie and Lydia, but the band were able to overcome this and turn it into a very good performance. At first it was difficult because I had to switch from a clean setting to a distorted setting, but I practiced well and then we did it live and it worked really well. I think the main way that I improved was through working through Danny to really like sync up the bass and drums, making sure when we played live to have like just have a look to each other every once in a while, make sure we were really staying in sync and keeping the rhythm going with the song. I think the performance went quite well in the end. I most of the time I was communicating quite well with um, Danny and the rest of the band, and I feel like we really locked in with that rhythm section and kept it going through most of the songs or all of them. And the only real negative to me was um. For beat it, my hi hat pattern went a little bit off because my um, clutch broke, and so I had to try and repair that midway through the song, and also on the very last song, I didn't notice it till after. But... <laughs> with my guitarist and my other guitarist went really well we were able to communicate and I was able to look around to the rest of my band and communicate and make sure everyone was okay and no one was over stressed. Uh, it went very well, but the first song I struggled due to stress as 
my pitch wasn't very right and I struggled to stay in time but for the rest of the performance it uh, went well and all I wish I did was move around a bit more on stage, turn it into a bit more of a performance. <laughs> I think the performance went really well because me and Dan had amazing communication and that made me feel a lot more comfortable on the stage and because of that I didn't have much nerves so I could play as well as I could and yeah it went really well, crowd loved it and it was a great gig.